Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's go ahead and get your reading started. What do you need to hear? Spirit, what are the messages for my Cancers? We have non-conformist. Feels misplaced or misguided in society. Rebels at the sake of rebelling. I think it should say for the sake of rebelling. Um, not of truth, suspicious, scared, and trapped in the status quo. Mm. Taurus energy. Y'all remember I kept calling y'all Taurus the other day. Y'all know what I just heard. Do y'all remember this commercial that used to come on back in the day? And they used to be like, who in the hell left the gate open? I think it was like a Christian, <laughs> Christian commercial. You see this gate open? Who in the hell left the gate open? I don't know why I just heard that. That's funny. <laughs> It's like a gospel album. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Okay, so let's see. What else? Somebody is rebelling. That doesn't have to be a bad thing. So we have spirit team in reverse. Ancestors, angels, spirit guides, gods, goddesses got your back. So somebody's spirit guides are not supporting them. And whatever this rebellion is. So maybe it is a bad thing. Mm -mm. That's Aquarius energy. Huh. Somebody's spirit team is not pleased about something. Okay, let's see. No. We have cross. Mental suffering and physical sinful lifestyle. Mm, something missing. Anguish, distress, and disappointments, y'all. Okay, well, the cross is in the upright. At least it's not inverted. But yeah, somebody is like putting themselves through unnecessary stress and strain because they're living a sinful lifestyle. Somebody left the gate open. Who in the hell left it open, y'all? Because the spirit team is not pleased about this. What's at the bottom? We have wedding ring for some of you as a spouse. Suspicious, need to compromise, misunderstandings and arguments, anxious about your relationship. So some of you, this is a spouse doing this to you. Even if you're not married, okay? Maybe it's somebody that doesn't want to be married because that is a non- middle energy this way it would be somebody that's rep it would represent the institution of marriage but this way it's like mm -mm. could be somebody stepping out on their marriage or somebody who just doesn't want to commit so let's see what's going on with this non-conformist the four of wands which is marriage with the world it's like somebody won't seal the deal or they already did and they're not living up to their expectations somebody wants a ring because this is a proposal and this is like hey let's get married let's be together you know, this person is getting a tattoo, and even though it looks like it probably is henna, I think there's a message in that. Because I don't think this is an actual tattoo. It feels like henna to me. I don't know why. I just I feel like it is. And I feel like with henna, it wears off. So this is like somebody that want to um, shack up. They want to play house, but they don't want to commit. Because this is full circle. This is let's commit. That's a ring. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Some of y'all might be saying that to somebody. Could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or an Aries person. Some of y'all been with this person long enough and you like, you need to make a move. Bust a move, buddy. King of Pentacles, it's time to settle down. This is somebody that wants a traditional relationship. It could be a Taurus. You know, the King of Pentacles is slow. They are committed, but they are slow. I feel like this person is not, something about them ain't right. I don't know. We got the King of Swords and we got the Temperance card. I don't like that. Not that these cards are bad, but I don't like what I just felt intuitively. Because the non-conformist energy is somebody that's into taboos. Y'all, I'm sorry that this is going to sound so extreme. And this is not going to be everybody's story. So please, please, please do not take it. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody. You're dealing with a masculine that's dealing with other masculines. And they hide it. Because the Temperance card is a um, asexual card. So I sometimes see this as somebody that might be a little bit confused about what they're into. Now, this is an earth angel card. It represents peace and all of that. But it also represents the energy of being asexual. So somebody here could be into like sleeping with trans people or somebody of the same gender. Somebody could be a barber. Somebody could be a bartender. Somebody could have had addictions in the past. Maybe they did it for money. I don't know. Even if you look at the hands of this person, this looks like a masculine body, but they have nail polish on. You can't make it up. They have blue nail polish on. Mm. 
Spirit, why did I feel that in my in my soul? I felt that in my soul. So like I said, it's not going to be everybody's story. Please don't accuse your person of this because it doesn't have to be that. For some of you, it's just that this person, they just, they just won't commit. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with them. They might feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is a slow and steady energy. And this is kind of like a stubborn person that's head over heart. So maybe they're like, I don't, that's not what I want. They could be very blunt, very direct and just like, I don't want to be married. You got that. You got the eight of swords in reverse. Y'all know this represents a hidden personality. I'm telling you, what's on, what's going on on this image? Let me see something, y'all. I got to check something out real quick. I'm confused about something, so I'm going to look up something real quick. Just make sure I ain't tripping. Okay. So, I mean, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, a Taurus, an Aries, or any of these other signs I said. This is a Gemini-Jupiter placement. Let me see something. What is this interesting? I didn't realize they have the, um, the symbols for... The planets on here. I don't see any on this one. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, but the Eight of Swords in Reverse is a hidden personality. It could also be that somebody is seeing this. Somebody's spirit team is not pleased about something. And that's why I'm saying this might be a bit extreme and it ain't going to be for everybody. Because I don't want y'all accusing your partners of being down low. But I'm seeing somebody that's down low for some of you. Ace of Pentacles here with the Spirit team. They might be saying they have something better for you, something more stable. I, I ain't trying to tell nobody to leave their relationship, though. What is this? Oh, this is a, a relationship, like an actual marriage. The Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Somebody's pride could be blocking their blessings here. Or somebody could be saying because they feel so proud of being married or being committed that they feel like they don't want to let it fall by the wayside because the seven of wands can be somebody that feels like they have to defend their territory you know what i'm saying so it could be the fact that it's like i don't want to give up on my person because we do have this family we are building something could be fairly new could be a year for some of you could be longer than that for others of you but i see somebody here that this is archangel michael what's going on with this ace of pentacles ace of swords so it's like there's something being shown to you about a new beginning what's the six of wands or the truth could be coming out the six of swords this is your spirit guys and look you got a passport i feel like oh my god i, I hate to give this message because i'm not trying to break nobody's household up but i feel like i mean obviously y'all don't need to listen to me you need to listen to your own intuition but but this is like the truth coming out of here and the truth will set you free. And this is you moving, leaving a trauma bond, leaving baggage behind, setting yourself free, even running away, moving to another part of the world with your passport being here. It could be for work. Yeah, because that is a new job, new car, new home. It could also be a new stable love offer. Somebody could be staying married because of their pride. I don't know, y'all. But your spirit team is not, yeah, work. It's like something is, I told y'all yesterday. It's like something is out there for you and I feel like it's big. This wedding ring might even be the new person that you have coming to you. You're anxious about your relationship. We have an environmentalist and we have an achiever. Achiever, making and checking off lists. Founder of cl of clubs or groups, high goals, beating records, and making a tough decision. Explore the unknown and walk new paths. See, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know, y'all. We have physically fit, harmony, healthy, fearless, perpetually curious, loves family, holistic, balanced, transforming, and removes obstacles. I feel like that's what's coming towards you. Could be an environmentalist. I don't know. I feel like they're at a distance. You're kind of getting giving me a little bit of Taurus energy. Some of y'all got Taurus in your chart or you're connected to a Taurus. And that could even be a new person coming towards you. Maybe you're going to have a choice between these two people. And you're going to have to go with who brings you the most peace. So they could be an Aquarius or a Taurus vying for your attention. Um, I don't know, y'all. But I feel like this is new endeavors, traveling for work, moving for work. And this is going over water. 
This is like overseas travel. Some of y'all are getting good news. The aces are good news. You have good news coming with your finances. And with this eight of pentacles, I do see you maybe ending up single temporarily. But when you put these two together, it's like you're moving for your job or you're considering something for professional reasons. And this makes nine pentacles, which is single, self-sufficient, independent, and really loving it. So I don't know, y'all. What's going on with this cross? Mental suffering and sinful lifestyle. Who is doing this? The fool, somebody being foolish. And look how they sneaking out the door. Somebody can have a dog. Um, Your person could be an Aquarius. And we have the two of wands. See, somebody is staying stuck. Two of wands in reverse is Aries energy. And it talks about not planning for the future. And you know what I fear? Oh, this is a hard reading. So, Cancer. Please only take this if it resonates. Don't take it personally if it doesn't. If y'all know y'all with somebody and you happy, this is not your reading. If that's not your situation, this could be your reading. And even then, all aspects of it will not be your story. This is somebody who won't leave a situation. They're just stuck. You know, it, it could be a very tense situation, like a household where it's a, there's a lot of tension. You know, um... And animosity is building between people, but it's like they're just going to stay because they haven't made plans to leave. And this fool is somebody spontaneously leaving. I don't want you to get stuck in a situation where you're like locked into somebody and then they can just like abruptly leave your life. And they don't give you that same courtesy to think about the consequences of them just leaving because the fool is literally foolish. The fool just kind of just jumps out there. He flies by the seat of his pants. Fools rush in, right? Now we got the three of wands in reverse. Look at what this person is doing. Packing their bags, right? But it's in reverse. Some of you have thought about leaving someone, but you stay, you stay, you stay. And it's like, I feel like the universe is going to align things where you're going to start to see that this is just not something that you can do anymore. What the, what's this month on this calendar? I can't see. Hmm, I don't know. But this is packing a bag. I just don't want y'all to get caught out there like waiting for somebody to get it together and then they just abruptly leave you because then we go ahead to jump them. <laughs> yeah, the four of cups, the queen of wands, the ace of wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the hermit. Mm. With the page of pentacles, I'm telling you, I see you studying something and I see you finding your person. Your ten of cups is here, y'all, but it comes after you spend some time by yourself. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces energy is showing up here. I'm seeing a new job here. I'm seeing somebody studying. And it could be a very cerebral um, job. But this is also isolation, alienation, like cutting yourself off from the world a little bit. Maybe because you are studying something. But you're going to find your Ten of Cups here. And it comes after a painful ending, a betrayal, possibly with a Gemini. So you have the Four of Cups here, which is Cancer Energy. We have the Queen of Wands here. And we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like when you truly bore... And get tired of this other situation. And they become like a a, a non-mother effing factor. Because that's what this is. When somebody's like out of sight, out of mind. They're an afterthought. You you ain't even think about them. You chilling, watching TV. You minding your business, right? Flipping through the TV. Watching Netflix. Look like they got Netflix on, right? And it's like when you really tune into this Queen of Wands energy. You look good. You feel good. You attract somebody new. Some of y'all are starting to work out. Take better care of your bodies. And I feel like you, you either already look really good or you're about to start looking really good. It's like this is going to be like a revenge body kind of energy. Mm -mm, you're getting your lick back from somebody. And I feel like it's a passionate connection coming in. It could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius or any of these other signs that I've said. You have Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. You have three Aces. The only one that you don't have is the Ace of Cups, which is the new love. So that's what's coming. It starts with you loving yourself, though. I am going to look into your love life right now, though, specifically. You, specifically, okay? What's going on with you? Let's move these and let's get into Cancer's messages for love. I feel like y'all can't see. I don't like that. I don't have much space, though. So let's see. What's your energy right now when it comes to love? Somebody's name could be Iman. I heard Yvette. We have obsession. Focusing too much on one situation and the need to take a step back. 
That's the devil. The devil coming out with the Hierophant in reverse. Mm -mm. Capricorn energy, your sister sign. So I feel like somebody focuses too much on having fun, sex, hookups, whatever. And for some of you, they're even sleeping with the same gender and they don't tell you that. Okay, and that's only a minority of you. Please, y'all, don't personalize that if you know that's not your story or you don't feel it is. What's coming that you don't see? We have rest. Listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. What did I say? Hermit mode. You're going to find yourself going quiet. You're going to find yourself kind of like retreating and withdrawing from people because you need that rest. And Taurus has been getting that too. So some of y'all definitely have Taurus in your chart. Or you could be connected to one. I don't know. This is Libra energy though. You could be taking a break from a Libra. Uh-oh. What's the challenge? What's your challenge in love right now? We have pay attention in reverse. And it says, look out for signs from the divine and acknowledge red flags. What did I say? It's like you you really love someone. You want someone. Or maybe you did in the past. And um, you could have held on a little bit too long. You were ignoring red flags. You missed some of the signs. I mean, don't beat yourself up. We all do it. Every last one of us. We all do it. Some people are very convincing. And they will have the wool pulled over your eyes. Okay, so what's the outcome? The most likely outcome for cancer. Deception. False illusion, scarcity, mentality, and falling into bad habits. This is either an Aquarius or a Capricorn for some of you. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. This is Leo energy. You could be on a cancer Leo cusp or you could be connecting to a Leo. We have divine timing. Everything has a purpose. And we have recognition. Aberration for your hard work is coming. See, I'm telling you. You got rewards and recognition at work. And now you're going to feed out what doesn't serve you and reevaluate the situation. And this is Taurus energy. We have Leo energy. We have Leo Scorpio Aquarius Taurus and Sagittarius here. So, yeah, this is one of these things. Like I think I told y'all yesterday, this is catalyst energy. That's all. But you're going to have to get to your wits end or maybe you already have with someone that has disappointed you this obsession the knight of wands what did i say they're obsessed with sex this is the player this is the non-conformist this is the non-committal knight could be a sagittarius what's going on with this person the ace of swords so for some of you it will be you cutting off this player maybe you find out the truth or maybe you recently have could have been over the no, this could be coming over the next week for some of you. It could be a Libra, Christ, a Gemini, or a Sagittarius. It could also be a Leo or an Aries. Show me more. This could have caused a lot of arguments between you two. The Empress. Some of you have a child with this person. They could also run back and forth to their baby mama or baby daddy here. Taurus, Libra energy. Or somebody they were married to before or something. I don't know. Maybe they're still married. Maybe they started something with you and... Maybe that's why we had these wedding rings. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Hmm. That's a very promiscuous card. That card represents gold digger energy, y'all. That's somebody who likes to be attached to people who... This is like a clout chaser. This is like a wannabe. Want to rub shoulders with the elite. Want to rub shoulders with the people who have money. But yeah, they're, they're like a social climber. Mm, could be a Capricorn. This is somebody that you can't trust. They're insecure, they're jealous, they're superficial, they're materialistic. They can sleep with people for money. I mean, mm -hmm. we talked about the King of Pentacles and I said it could have been something going on here. And for some of you now, we have two feminine energies coming out. So even if you're a man dealing with a woman... Maybe she sleeps with women too. I don't know. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? She doesn't normally come out in reverse for me. What's going on with this? The star. Like I said, they want to be attached to people with high status. They want people to look up to them. This person is too focused on getting attention. They're too focused on being somebody. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to just knowing they are somebody. They got the Wheel of Fortune and Justice in reverse, baby. They got bad karma galore. Both of these are terrible karma coming somebody's way. And they're major. So this is happening right now. 
This is right now energy. Could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, Sagittarius, or a Libra. Outside influences could be affecting this. Somebody feel like they got away with something. There's an injustice here. They didn't get away with anything. Because the truth is going to... It's either coming out or it recently has. I feel like over the next week, some of you are getting truth about something. It could happen today. It could happen yesterday. I don't know. This is so crazy. So the... um. I think I got this right. So the Wheel of Fortune is, I believe, um, 30 years. Yeah, it's 30 years. Somebody could be 30. Something could be significant about 30 years. I don't know. The Justice card is Libra season. So something could be happening in Libra season. And then the star represents Aquarius season. And these are the majors here. So either of these things could be significant or those could be the signs that you're dealing with. What's going on with this rest, which you don't see coming? The Ten of Wands. Some of y'all are tired of carrying dead weight. Sagittarius energy, being the only one in a relationship to show up. You're dropping the dead weight because you're reaching a burnout with something or someone. Yes, Seven of Wands. I feel like you have very strong boundaries now. Leo energy. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. You've given up on someone. This is a lot of wands. I see wands is very intense energy and they're also very fast. These are fast moving energies. We got Sagittarius coming through strong and then we got the Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like a lot of your focus is on your money. You want to build on a solid ground. That's where your focus is. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you have released a fire sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it just feels like this person is giving me strong Sagittarius energy. You're, you're waiting for something stable. You're waiting for a stable offer. You're listening to your body and you are taking time to really just kind of like recharge your battery. What's going on, especially in Libra season? Uh-oh. Y'all, that car flew up in the air. Ooh. So you didn't pay attention to the red flags. And look what you get. The Queen of Wands in reverse. More promiscuity with the King of Swords here. Some of you knew, but you just didn't maybe want to know i don't think it's that you didn't see it i feel like you um you knew but you kind of ignored it but you also could be dealing with a narcissist here these 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 two as challenges are narcissists you're talking about somebody loud obnoxious um some of you are not even attracted to this person anymore they might be looking bad like if you see them they might look bad queen of wands in reverse is repulsive okay um but it also talks about prostitution. And I told y'all, I'm telling y'all, things don't just come to my head for no reason. And this is, again, not everybody's story. But some of y'all, somebody here was into um, transactional relationships. You saw the money. And with those other cards coming out, mm -mm, somebody here was, was doing something strange for some change, y'all. So we have the magician. <laughs> Talk about pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. Gemini, Virgo, and Aquarius and Aries is here with the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody could be a gambler. They could just take unnecessary risk here. And there's a lot of mind games. There's a lot of brainwash going on here. There's a lot of dark magic going on here. I mean, the King of Swords came out in the upright, and that is Archangel Michael with his sword, you know, defending you, protecting you. So for some of you, you were protected, even though maybe you didn't see. The Knight of Pentacles is also a guardian angel. So you do have protection here, but I do feel like this magician energy is, is giving me trickster. It's giving me illusionist. It's giving me master deception. Emotional manipulation, mental manipulation here. So the magician as a challenge tells about somebody who is wasting their talent. And a lot of you, you're dealing with somebody who's wasting their talent on ass. Like that's what they do. They chase behind men and women and, you know, and for some of you, it's both. For a select few of you. So what's this deception? False illusion, scarcity, mentality, and falling into bad habits. Mm -hmm. The high priestess. There's a lot of magic on this table. You got two dark witches with the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands in reverse. You got the magician as a challenge. You got the high priestess. You got the devil, but the devil is in reverse. So that's cool. Some of you are now listening to your intuition. This is your major arcana with Capricorn energy. Some of you are detaching from a toxic Capricorn who is addicted. They are obsessed. 
And this is also a card of a mistress. So I don't know. Some of y'all could have been the other woman or man. Look at this, the Hierophant. So these two are married. And we do have wedding here. Somebody's been in a toxic wedding or long-term wedding, marriage or long-term relationship that they are detaching from. Cancer, this is you and this is Taurus. I said y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, but this is Capricorn energy. Some of you could be meeting a Taurus. You could be actually meeting your divine counterpart here. But this damn devil, mm -mm, who's the devil? Because the Hierophant is not the devil, unless you're dealing with a spiritual narcissist. We got the Page of Swords, somebody that you don't trust. Somebody that a lot of you are very careful what you say to. Um, and they also could be a person who's very strategic. The Page of Swords, they study you and figure you out. And once they got you figured out, they know how to kind of manipulate the situation. They're very resourceful, very strategic. They think before they speak. Some of y'all are dealing with a Virgo, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. They're very cerebral. But I feel like you're also connecting to somebody. Somebody could be watching you. Um... And this person that you have a meeting of the minds, you two have a lot of shared values. What's the bottom of the deck? Yep, the Eight of Cups, you're walking away. Pisces energy, you are walking away from somebody that you have history with. Look at your spirit guides moving you on. So your spirit guides are now showing up in the upright because they're like, okay, this is what we want. We want you to leave this person from the past. Some of you have a child or two, maybe even twins. Somebody's a twin here because this is the twin card. Um, you're walking away. Some of you have done this several times with this person. You walked away, come back, walked away, come back. This could also represent divorce. Yeah, but your spirit guides are here to take you right to the person. Look who they're taking you to. The king of pentacles. I told you, for some of y'all, it's a Taurus. You got Gemini, Taurus, and Aquarius showing up here. The six of swords, which is you moving away, leaving a trauma bond to go towards your love, your true love, who is stable. Taurus energy. Somebody could be an entrepreneur. Yeah, your past person will be sad, begging you to come back. Mm -mm, you're not. Look at you. Celebrating with your husband or your wife, your new person. That's a marriage. Let's read the positive side of this because this is who's coming towards you. We have beginning of a new relationship, solutions to your problems, new love, commitment, loyalty, wealth, and decision. Baby, that's what the King of Pentacles is. Where is he? Come on, King of Pentacles. Where are you? The King of Pentacles is loyal, dependable, wealthy, generous. Somebody with the Midas touch, somebody who wants a long-term relationship, you can trust him or her. Oh, I like it. So it ends well. It ends well. Trust me, it ends well. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to move these cards. I'm going to pause this so y'all don't have to sit through this. And then we're going to get one more deck of cards with some advice for you. Okay, y'all, let's get your advice. So we have challenge. Be brave enough to accept all challenges. That's the Knight of Wands. We have break obstacles. Nothing can block your light. I feel like that's you, Cancer. That's like the chariot for me. There's nothing that's going to hold you back. Some of you are up for a challenge. You are strong enough, bold enough, enough to handle this. And then we have inhale and exhale. So I'm saying a lot of meditation. Just taking a moment to really catch your breath and rest. This is what you need so you can recharge and regroup and, you know, come back better. We have um, box with the pillow. Release some tension. I am not your punching bag. Mm. Some of you are tired of somebody like emotionally abusing you. So we have doing nothing is fine too. Yeah, you keep being encouraged to take a rest. Some of you need a vacation. The four of, well, um, four of swords is this energy here. And that does talk about going on a vacation. Maybe take a, a short trip somewhere. Maybe even just a road trip. We have don't do this today if you don't want to. Yeah. So it's like you don't have to be forced to do anything. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have I don't understand yet I'm a genius. So somebody has left you confused and you know, look at this, confused. <laughs> and you know you're not a fool. We have calmly analyze and clarify your thoughts. That's insane. Spread the love and there's the devil energy. I'm not always an angel. So you're dealing with a person that's Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, whoever this person is. I'm telling you and... Look how androgynous they look. I'm telling y'all right now, somebody ain't right. And there ain't nothing wrong with people being who they are. What I'm saying is they're lying about it, and that's not cool. So Spirit wants you to move forward bravely, the cliff of the universe. This is the full courage to take a leap of faith in a new direction. You have found the right way out. So you are leaving a situation. Believe that you are greater than any obstacle. You have the power. We have the ring of fire, enthusiastic and complete. 
And then we have newborn, a great beginning. I feel like some of y'all are about to marry somebody new. Um, start dating first, obviously. And you could be having a baby with them. You could be. That's what I see for you. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.